Uh, what's up, everyone? This is Epo Dempsey Roll here, aka Rayo, and I'm back once again with some more hobby stuff. Uh, today, Night Trap and I we went to a new hobby store, a new to uh, a hobby store that's new to me at least. Um, this was the one that I mentioned previously. We were really hyped up to go there last week on a Monday, but apparently they're closed on Mondays. So we ended up going to some other places, which was fine, and I was good. I enjoyed going to the other places too. But this one here is called, wait, that's not what it's called. It's called Trinity Hobby. TrinityHobby.com, that's the website. Models, tools, and supplies. Let's just leave this up here for a moment while I talk about some stuff. So yes, uh, we went to this place finally, uh, hotly anticipated place. I know I know Bacon was uh, had been looking at this website as well uh, because they had some stuff that he was looking forward to getting, like the uh, like the trike from Death Stranding. And um, yeah, we checked out the website and it was like, whoa, they sell Warhammer stuff too. And I was like, sweet, they've got Gunpla, they've got Warhammer stuff, they've got a lot of hobby-related materials that you might need, so uh, yeah, this sounded like a really great place. It's called Trinity Hobby. I don't know if the Trinity is kind of like Gunpla, Warhammer, and something else, like a, like a triangle of nerdy hobbies. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> By the way, they also gave me these things here. Uh, Gunpla Ottawa and, uh, and a sticker for Gunpla Ottawa. This is apparently uh, like a community that has a Discord and maybe a Facebook group. So I'm going to look into that and see what that's all about. Because yeah, maybe I can uh, meet some like-minded individuals over at uh, Gunpla Ottawa. Let's, let's set that aside here for now while we uh, discuss some other stuff. Let's just put it right there. So yeah, Night Trap bought a number of things there. Very excited to see what he bought. He discussed that on his channel. So head on over there for more information about that. But let's quickly chat about what I bought. So first of all, <laughs> premium ultra precision soft standing stick. This is 5,000 grit and I've got, uh, I've got four of those. 5,000 grit, that's far, uh, that's a lot finer than the 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 grit that I had previously. Um, the previous finest grit that I had was 800. This one here. This is actually intended for cars, <laughs> but I bought this uh, at Canadian Tire. It's paper paper sheets, which I just glue onto something like thumb thumb tacks or uh, popsicle sticks or whatever. But yeah, so. Uh, Pretty excited to use this um, with with this one with the 800 grit. I felt like that was sufficient for my purposes, just because uh, I was always going to. My intention was to uh, to paint afterwards, and so it didn't really need to get much finer than this, just because if I paint afterwards, it would usually cover up any very fine abrasions that you might see it kind of smooth it out with a primer coating and then paint like it'll be fine but uh, with the model I bought I'm sort of thinking I might not paint it I might just leave it as the plastic and if that's the case I kind of need needed a better finish so that's why I got that manufactured using excellent quality waterproof sheets by Matador Germany so guys this is German manufacturer here some high quality German stuff manufactured by high voltage electrostatic induction excellent quality soft stick for wet and dry abrasive work no deformation due to temperature ultra precise grit size so yeah that was the first thing I got number two I got this it's like a sham wow <laughs> I guess so you could use it uh... I mean it's a sham wow yeah, imagine that. Maybe you could use ShamWow to, to finely sand my miniatures or maybe dust them. I got some of this. I'm not sure if you have any of this here, uh, Bacon, because uh, as of yet, have you, have you?
found the need to, to glue any of your models. Um, I know that most of the kits from Bandai are snap fit. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really sure if you bother buying some of this, but this is Tamiya Extra Thin Cement Quick Setting. Um, this stuff here, and I've even noticed that I might need to use it for my Warhammer models. And in fact, a lot of people do use this stuff for Warhammer. Where can I find an example of what I want to do? So, so for this, this is the uh, GS uh, M MSG modeling supply goods from from Kotobukiya, and. I'm just putting the I was just putting this thing together normally snap fit but mm, bacon haven't encountered anything that requires glue yet right oh oh yeah and MSG thanks yeah so um, when you snap fit stuff together sometimes there can be a little gap right a little tiny gap and in the past what I have done to close that gap is to use stuff like like green stuff, the the stuff that a lot of uh, people use in Warhammer, uh, or even um, Tamiya putty, to close the gap, right? And you can sort of fill in the gap with with any kind of putty type material, and then you can go back and sand it, right, to get back to that level. I've also in the past used a bit of uh, sanding. Uh, where's my uh, sanding material here? Oh, here we are. So if, for example, I use this file, I kind of just file in one direction. And what I do is I try and make the, the, the dust, the plastic dust, go into the crevice as I'm sanding, right? Push it into the crevice. And then I cover it with some super glue. Like I'll close it with super glue, like a very light layer of super glue. And then that the sand dust becomes kind of like a like a filler material mixed with the glue and then again you can sand it off and then that becomes very solid pretty solid i've done that in the past and it's kind of worked but it's it's kind of um it's not the best method to use it's just kind of um kind of convenient sometimes if the gap isn't too big you can do it that way but now that i have this this is like kind of like the preferred method that i've i've seen around a lot and so um, the same scenario, imagine these two halves. These are two halves here. And you put them together, right? And before you do that, you line one side with this glue with extra thin cement. And you can push them together and even, even allow for a bit of like overflow, right? To bubble up or pool up. Just leave it alone. Just leave that alone. Because it's thin, you're not really going to get a big gloopy bunch of it. It's just going to be very thin, right? Just leave that alone and let it dry. And then when it's fully cured, you can again sand it and file it down. Because what happens here with this stuff is that it, uh, it, it melts the plastic. And so it creates a really strong bond. And it basically kind of fuses the pieces together if it, even if it's a uh, and even if you get a bit of like pooling up you can kind of just file it down and it'll become it'll look really good so yeah that's that's the main reason that I bought this I won't need to use anything like uh, I won't need to use anything like a uh, putty anymore for small gaps for larger gaps yeah definitely gonna have to use something like green stuff or or Tamiya putty but for now yeah I got this stuff and uh, yeah looking forward to use that I think it's I think it's got some pretty powerful fumes so got to be careful about using that open a window or something so here's number two so yeah this is all kind of like I'm just kind of going through the equipment stuff second thing number two action base Bandai action base uh, 1 in 100 scale, clear base 4. And this actually, I got this because I can use it in conjunction with 
Where is it? Oh. Uh, this thing that I built earlier, uh, last week, Figure Rise Effects. This one can be used. The effects and the stand can be used. It says right here, uh, this model is compatible with Action Base 5 and Action Base 4, both sold separately. <laughs> so yeah, I can use that. Yeah, apparently this has a scale, 1 in 100 scale. So it's kind of good for um, uh, high grades and maybe um, real grades, I think, 1 in 100 scale. But uh, I'm not sure. Like if the base, depending on how the base adapter works and connects to the model, uh, maybe it can work with other stuff. It's just a base, so I'm not really sure how that ma how that really matters and and in fact this doesn't relate really to the model i bought uh high grades and real grades are one in one one in one forty fourth yeah so this doesn't really relate to it but i got this mostly because i wanted to use it for my uh effect parts but yeah there seems to be a lot of stuff in here too i'm not going to build this today i'll build this another day but uh yeah okay so that's that pretty excited to mess around with the effects they uh, this store here, Trinity Hobby, had more effects parts, but nothing that I was really looking for. I, I, I really wanted the explosions, like the smoke and fiery explosions to put on the models, but uh, they had they didn't have that. They had like sonic booms and stuff, which are cool too, but 